Prism Carella and welcome to my channel. Today we are dipping in onto hair. It, well, either way, if you natural or relaxed or just have like, I don't know what the other type of hair is. Today we are going to be laying our hair flat and we're going to be achieving a metal part. And I'm going to be using the Echo Styler Gel. This is the olive oil. It has olive oil and um, it's alcohol free. And I'm also going to be using the um, Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils Don't Shrink. And I'm going to be using it for my fluff. I should have bought a scrunchie. I was hoping to get a scrunchie. This is like it has a jelly effect. I was hoping to get a scrunchie, but then I forgot. It's like yesterday when I went out, I was like, I'm going to get a scrunchie for this video. But then, oh well, we'll get a scrunchie next time because like having your hair laid flat and having a scrunch like the scrunchie at the back of your bow it looks so retro and so nice i just so kim kardashian with this nice metal potting like she is the queen of polish like i was just looking at her i'm like mm, okay like make her pay perfect for every damn time i've never even seen an island out of place like with her so anyway i'm just gonna wet my hair like my whole hair um some people prefer having a bottle of hto with um conditioner and oranges that they spritz it to it i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna wet my whole hair and i'm gonna damp it out a bit um like a bit and then i'm gonna um apply the gel and so that we don't waste more products because the last time i did it on dry hair look at how much products are wasted where does it open so i used it once and look at how much products i wasted like because i have a lot of hair so to actually save money and save those some coins so I'm just gonna wet it all because like I'm just showing you guys a quicker way to getting your fussy hair laid or if you have a lot of hair. So I'll see you in a jiffy! So I have on the hair and I don't have it on. What am I saying? So the hair is damp now. Um, I use the can to um, natural hair moisturizing color activating cream to actually detangle my hair a bit because my hair tangles every microsecond of my life. I will detangle it right now and then pff, it tangles like I get so frustrated over that but then sometimes I'm like I have to learn to accept how my hair is that's how my hair is and oh my god what is just dripping all over my face so guys um when I'm busy with my hair I'm gonna be looking towards my left towards my left because that's where my mirror is and I want to keep focus on what I'm doing and I also want to keep focus on you my baby so you don't miss one second of this <laughs> styling tutorial oh. So basically the hair is damp. I got this from Avon by the way if I haven't said it. I have this tendency of just repeating myself like a mad person. So yeah, this is from Avon. You can find it on the catalog. And this is the shrunken stage of my natural bossy hair. So I'm just going to moisturize it using my um, Tresemme Botanic Replenishing Aloe Vera Oil. Because I didn't wash it, I just um, basically used um, the conditioner. So basically it's damp now. I'm going to use this um, hair tie to tie like the back. So I, can, I know what I'm working with. When you have um, coily um coarse hair like myself i'm gonna use um this um comb from avon so like myself i tell you that you have to wet your hair before styling it because uh due to the fact of how hard our hair is so i actually want this parting to be as long as miss kardashian west part i don't want it too straight i don't care if it's straight or not but then as long as there's a parting and my calls just show up oh <laughs> so i think the parting hers ended up to here i don't have quite a big head so i'm not going to stress about my parting being long so basically i'm going to dip into my um echo styler this is the olive oil one so guys if you want your styling to last longer make sure that you use the the arrogant oil one 
actually i prefer that one based on this one this one is a bit light for me so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna keep applying and pushing it down applying and pushing it down so yeah I'm not going to put it at the back because like that's where I'm going to have my fluffers so let's save a little bit of product we economizing here so we save thing save thing I don't know why I'm so childish still dipping it into the aqua styler guys So now I managed to get my hair in a bun. So it doesn't look the best as of yet. Um, we are still gonna work through the styling. Don't panic. Don't, don't, don't panic. So I'm gonna show you guys got like a better view of that. So right now we are gonna use the Don't Shrink um, Flaxseed Elongating Curl Gel. Curling Gel. Wow, this smells amazing. It smells like like a drink, like a delicious drink. So I'm just gonna um, try gel down my hair with this one. This one actually doesn't flatten, but then when um, it's mixed with the Echo Styler, it does wonders. We're not going to worry about the baby hairs now. So I'm going to get to the bun. So I'm going to use the Don't Shrink on the bun sides to actually define my coil, my coils. <laughs> This is a mess. So I'm literally defining the coils on my bun. What happened to that one? Guys, doing your own hair is, it's, it takes dedication. And like, if you are like me, you probably wouldn't even want to do this. But then, when it comes to the prices that people are charging and the amount of damage that people leave your hair and they don't care. Like you go to the salon and those people are doing your hair. They don't care about your hair as much as you care about your hair. I mean like it's growing out of your own scalp it's your hair 
if there's a problem with it they'd be like oh sorry you must be using this this and that the one say it's because oh my god it's because i just plucked it too much or i just trimmed it too much or I just do like it's because we're using so much heat or this product is bad for you. They're not going to tell you that this product is bad for you. Like sometimes I feel like you need to listen to your own hair. Okay, so that's when this um, natural hair journey started with me. I just decided like um, I'm just going to focus on my own hair. I'm just going to do my own stuff. If I don't know how to do it, I don't do it then. thing that I hate about this don't shrink it leaves my hair with um so much flakes so much so much flakes so let's get to the toothbrush no 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 this is actually not a toothbrush anymore <laughs> it was a toothbrush once upon a time now it's just like just Go this way. Not the way that it's going. And this Um, guys, I'm not gonna worry about the baby hairs just yet. Uh, the only thing that I'm worrying about right now is getting my hair even. I'm mm, making sure that um, it's flat. So this is the part it is not as long as I wanted it to be but um, let's just get this um, gel dried and this hair a bit um, proper and I'm gonna use my silk scarf if you have natural hair and you lay your baby edges a lot you know that a silk scarf is great for natural hair <laughs> and also a nightmare Basically, I'm just laying the hair down. I'll be back in a jiffy. So, I managed to get it dry just a little bit. And I changed my clip and I used this bigger hair clip because I didn't manage to get it flat today. Like, flat from the back. Because I was trying to use less product and I wasn't trying to confuse you guys. So, like, let me just... This is my first hairstyling tutorial. Let me just make it quick, easy and simple. Can I stop moving my hands like a DJ? I can't. So basically, I use this hair clip. Um, I can't take it out because it was a nightmare closing it. Um, I'll show you guys once I have it off. Uh, or next time when I do my hair. So obviously, the hair is not dry yet. So right now, we are going to get into the baby hair tutorial. So for my baby hair, I'm going to be using a styling mousse. I'm going to be using this styling mousse from Perfect Touch. Could eat it is. Looks delicious. Looks delicious. Ah, you get over there. So I'm gonna get it closer to my baby hair as possible. So and I don't do anything too drastic with my baby hairs. I still want them to be like, okay, she has baby hairs on. But then um, I don't want them to be like, you know. So I'm going to dip into my Echo Styler. It's the olive oil one and it's um, nearly finished. So I want a baby hair swooping from here. Swooping from here to here. Because I still want my hair to be like. Mm, um, of 
towards the sides. There's a poor dog crying, I wonder what's happening. So I want this straight, but I want this here. Oh my god. Do you also get confused with baby hairs as much as I do? So this side. I'm not gonna do much because it's my left hand side and I'm right handed so I usually don't do my best on my um left hand side hope that you guys can see yeah and let me, I'm gonna add a little so the hair has dried a bit so the product is actually taking in quite well And then I'm going to be using the Ultra Hold Spray from um, Perfect Touch. Okay, those products are very, very affordable and you, they, you can find them at Clicks. Oh. This smells terrible, by the way. It smells terrible. Let me get uh, closer. This is the um, Perfect Touch. Ultra Hold Spray and then this is the Volume and Lift Mousse. They also have a color activating mousse. Um, I haven't tried it out but then I'll buy it and try it out and let you know guys how it's actually going. Before um, we get closer to finishing, I'm also going to take my Tresemme Botanic Mist to actually moisturize. Um, I actually want some sheen tomorrow on my hair. Yeah. I'm going to massage it. A little bit and we're going back to the silk scarf <laughs> for the baby hairs of course <gasps> i know this video must be so weird because i kept looking at the side but then um that's where my mirror is so let's lay this edges okay silk scuffing is a lot of work it's a lot of work it takes like takes too much time actually so um i'm gonna lay my baby hair and I'm going to be shooting an eyebrow tutorial for my Instagram. My Instagram handle is Tanzim Cavella. On all my socials, I go by Tanzim Cavella. And guys, I do not have Facebook. So when I say my socials, I'm in YouTube and Instagram. I had a little bit of Twitter, but then I hardly tweet. Like, I never got the gist of Twitter. But then um, I know that Twitter is fun. I don't know. I might start tweeting depending on if you guys are also on Twitter. So we can start tweeting. So basically on Instagram, I'm going to be doing an eyebrow tutorial using the new NYX um, eyebrow promade that I got. It's actually a three in one. So if you want to see, uh, if you want to see or know what's going on with that, um, hop over on my Instagram. It's going to be uploaded on Wednesday or Tuesday. If Hey my lovelies, we back and we back onto the hair. So I think that my baby hairs have been laid enough. So I was just doing a makeup tutorial that's going to be up next weekend to make sure that you guys um have everything in order. Like, mama takes care of you. I'm about to take care of you. All of you. All of you. Take care of me, baby. So the baby hairs have been laid. And of course, there's a line of demarcation from the makeup. Due to the fact that I had my scarf on the whole time when I was putting on my makeup. So basically, this is what the hair looks like. Alright, do you guys like it? Do you think that um this would be... I feel like this would be like an easy to girl for uni, for school... Um, on of course for work and of course I'm gonna be rocking this when I go to work tomorrow hence I went through th all this trouble of course I went through all this trouble because of you my lovelies but I also went through all this trouble to kill another bird killing two birds with one stone oh I thought I missed that because I have like this thing of mine of just missing words all about killing two birds what 
don't even listen to me so basically this is the hair and I'm gonna, just gonna jump start it a bit so I can have the fluff the fluff is about to dry now but then um here it's a bit wet so this is what the hair looks like so if you happen to see stuff next to me I was literally doing my makeup so this is what the parting I feel like next time I want the parting to be up here I'm literally going for that Kim Kardashian metal parting she always has the best metal parting I know that a lot of people might not like her but then she is a trendsetter let's be honest to be fair to be fair when she has her makeup her stuff hey hey though hey 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 is always on B Lady point bra like i can't like for me it's like she's one of my inspos but i also draw from other people like um local people like Kay naomi she's my inspo like her makeup is always so wow and her skin tone is like goodness gracious how can one person be so beautiful um i take inspiration from Kay naomi i also take inspiration from when it comes to hair i don't know i feel like there are like a lot of people i just can't name them right now but then um yeah so this is what the hair looks like i think i'm gonna go out in the daylight so you guys can see it properly so my lovelies thank you so much for sticking through with me like you went through it all from the gels from the wet links from the wet from the wet hair from the mini detangles if you want to see how i actually wash and detangle my hair i'm gonna link a couple of my wash and hair tutorial on this icon up here because i already have it on my channel if this is your first time popping into this channel do not worry tens mkabela has it all i do it all my darling and i do it off the you can i stop talking first i'm talking mad right now so basically i'm gonna link it on the icon up here and on the end screen i'm also gonna put on some suggestions from my other videos so you guys can see if you want to watch this makeup tutorial it's gonna be up next week and make sure to come and support your girl like your girl is trying now uh -uh. she is trying i kind of want to with this now hit the subscribe button and share 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 like and make sure to comment if you see something that you like or don't like i'm open i'm open to um criticism like constructive criticism then don't go don't go overboard i'll block you if you go overboard come on so thank you so much i'll see you next week and i'd like to say welcome to our new subscribers you guys are bloody fantastic we are about to go strong we are about to grow bigger and it's just because of you guys so thank you very very much i'll see you next week Mwah. i love you so very very much very very much